Hi guys, let's talk about USB Type C today or USB C. Now, of course, you know USB, the port on the computer that allows you to plug in your smartphone, your external hard drive, your keyboard, your mouse, etc., via USB cables. I have a few of them here. And this one is the standard USB 3.0 cable, standard because it has two ends. This end here is called Type A, that remains the same, and this end here is called Type B, that changes based on the device you use it with. For example, this one here is the standard USB 3.0 Type B. And this one here is a standard micro USB 3.0 cable. Type A, the same. Type B, micro USB 3.0. And this one here is the regular USB cable for a printer. Type A, the same. Type B, regular USB. And here this one is the mini USB cable. Type A, the same. Type B, mini USB. As you can see, you have to always fumble around to find the right cable, the right end of a cable, and then the right direction to plug something in. Because if you flip the cable around, it's not gonna fit anymore. So think about it. If you're in a hurry and it's kind of dark, you have to plug something into something else, it's not gonna be easy. And that's where USB-C comes into play. Take a look at the cable here. This is USB-C cable. Both ends are the same. And this one here is the USB-C port on a computer. You can see you can plug in any other way you want any other end you want. On the other end, you can always plug in the device very easily, as you can see. I can do that without even really looking at it. Now, there's more though. USB-C can also deliver much faster speed, up to 10 gigabit per second, and much more power. For that reason, it can also be used to charge much larger devices, such as this laptop right here. But there's more. Take a look here at this end of this USB-C cable, the logo. That's right, that is for Thunderbolt 3. You guessed it, Thunderbolt 3 now moved to use the same port as USB-C. In other words, every Thunderbolt 3 port will also work as USB-C port. And every Thunderbolt 3 cable will also work as USB-C cable and vice versa. Make sure you get good cables now. And finally, there's now a new audio standard for USB-C and that means you will soon see the disappearance of the good old 3.5 millimeter audio jack on your smartphone. And when that happens, it could truly be only one port and one cable to connect everything. That's pretty cool, I guess, but the idea of not having to carry all this cable already turns me on big. And the plugging thing into each other nicely, easily, and neatly is just another extra bonus that I can't wait to do. And that's because I'm Dom Ngo, and this is strictly about USB Type-C.